There are a lot of horror movies coming out this August, but none are as unique as Paranorman. We're here at San Diego Comic-Con on the press line, and we're about to meet the directors and cast. Computer animation has pretty much killed off hand-drawn animation. What? But stop motion survives, and some would even say thrives. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Absolutely, because uh, it's, it's real light falling on real things, and it's like real people moving those puppets one frame at a time. It has a kind of warmth and humanity to it. That it just bleeds through in every yeah, frame. It has a charm that actually CG is always chasing. CG is always trying to capture what you get for free, free yeah, yeah, in stop motion, yeah. and that's real. That's real. It's a real object that yeah. is being shot. I, I spent years directing CG movies, like trying to get them to feel like it's got some atmosphere. You know that it's got some reality. Would you say 3D has been a godsend to stop motion? Yeah, I would. Yeah, I think yeah. it's transformed. So a number of things have transformed stop motion in recent years. Coraline's probably started a lot of it. You know, there's a 3D printing process that we use for the faces. There's the 3D, uh, and then there's a lot more visual effects sort of available now to us. You know, as film. Makers. So it really is like being on a little live action movie. Yeah, really. I mean, it was good being at, at Leica in particular because their philosophy is just to push and push and push and do things that no one has done before in this medium. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of the stuff that we were trying on this movie has never been done before and yeah. maybe shouldn't because it's dangerous. You know, <laughs> it, it could easily go wrong, but we tried it and it, it yeah, worked out brilliantly. Oh, great. It, yeah. Last question Have you ever dropped a figure on the floor? We haven't, but plenty yeah. of people have. There's one animator, Brad Schiff. Yeah. <laughs> Not to name any names, but he has destroyed more puppets than anyone else. Oh, that's hilarious. There are a lot of horror movie references in the film. Did you guys yeah. get all of them? Um, I may not have got all of them. I would can't I think of one of them right now. I think, <laughs> yeah. If yeah. I got, not got one. Yeah. But I know that it's kind of, you know, it's kind of like a Scooby-Doo kind of feeling, bringing this whole group together, kind of like the Goonies that have such different personalities. I have to ask, you play a bully? Yes. Okay, but you also play the ultimate bully, Red Mist. Yeah. Have nice. you have you read uh, the Mark Miller uh, sequel? Yeah. Um, yes, I have, and yeah. they uh, sent me a kick-ass two script too. Oh, so we're great. hoping to get that going at the end of the year. Oh, well, it's going to be yeah. a big thing for you. Like, yeah, um, I can't wait. Your main villain. I changed uh, my name from the Red Mist to the Mother. Yes, that's really? great. Can't yeah. say in front of the minor. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite movie. <laughs>